You know when you pull up to a drive through Yeah, how do you do that? How do you do that and just know exactly what to say without any planning beforehand? Don't know how all of you stay all calm and collected. When I went out for food one day, it was just like every other day I go to the drive through I pull up to the window, hear the age-old question, Hi, how may I help you? Shakes. Just shaking the car. Hi, can I please have one medium onion ring? Just doesn't make any sense. I'm clearly yelling at this person. I think I said, how's your day? <laughs> what? No one does that. Guess I just want to be that one special snowflake. Oh, I'm the only one that wants them to have a good day. You're at a Wendy's, dude. You think they're having a good day? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. I'm not at liberty to say that. I've never actually worked fast food. My first guess is just that it's awful and you just want to get your money and go, but what do I know? Back to my little fiasco. Clearly ordering normally is too much for me. <laughs> How can you make it easier? Now this might blow your mind, so I hope you're sitting down. Let's say you get to know this little fast food joint. You start to get used to it, right? Maybe you go up to the menu at the drive-thru and you see that your favorite order that you get every time you go there has a number next to it. So now you pull up to the window, say the number, and they'll know what you're talking about. <laughs> All you say now is that you want a Mountain Dew on the side. Perfect. Awesome. So much easier to order now. Did I do it? No. Why? I don't know. <laughs> but uh, I definitely learned my lesson. Everything else at the window went fine. I got my food. I started driving home. And right away, you can tell that something smelled off. I stopped at a light and I gave it a little peek inside the bag. And it wasn't the four-piece chicken tendies that I ordered. Four-piece hot and spicy tendies that only last 20 minutes in here, if you know what I'm saying. They got the order wrong. And you know what that is? Tough. <laughs> That's tough because I'm not doing that again. You win, famous food chain. You think I have the guts to go back to the restaurant just to tell the employee, Hi, you made this wrong. Can you try again? I'm jumping off a cliff instead. Or I guess I'm just eating this food because I paid for it and it's partially my fault that I got it wrong because I ordered it like a weirdo because I'm an introvert. That's right, everybody. <laughs> if you made it this far in the video, you're awesome. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Let me know down in the comments if you relate to any of this because we introverts at some point, someday, will rise up and persevere, and we're all in this together. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye.